Well, uh, Deacon Wesley Turton here. Some people have been calling me Deacon Angelo lately. But uh, this all started about three years ago. We started looking at the church, wondering how we were going to do various renovations. One of them was the painting job because it was getting more and more in dire need all the time to do it. We had measured things. We had checked things out. We were trying to figure out how to do the main nave, how we were going to be possibly uh, ever getting to the top here with a congregation in here and all the pews in place. And in January, uh, Zig came to me and he said, start painting all the side rooms. And I started doing the wings and the side rooms. And over a couple months, I was working my way up to the front here. And as I come into the foyer, all of a sudden, COVID showed up. Now, call it a rose and a thorn bush, but it gave us an opportunity to get our ceiling done. Because as soon as they closed the church, Zig pointed to the ceiling and three days later the scaffolding was showing up and it was put in place and we were able to get to the ceiling. I'll give you an idea what happened in here. Over the course of the last four months, I don't know, we probably put in some place in the neighborhood of maybe 220 gallons of paint, several pails of mud, uh, 1,200 hours of labor, uh, pails and pails of dust and dirt came out of here, vacuum bags full of dirt, and we sanded, we dusted, we vacuumed, and we painted the entire church from top to bottom. And right behind me here, you'll see the sanctuary, and if you look up to the top of the steeple, you'll see that it's 108 feet above the floor of the sanctuary. Consequently, that's a fair height. Now up at the top, you'll find out that we installed some lights, some powerful lights shining up into the steeple. Every light in this church was facing towards the sanctuary. And when we were up there, our books are in a slight shadow all the time because we can't put lights behind us because that would be in the congregation's eyes. This steeple light enabled us to light the entire um, uh, sanctuary and took the shadows away. It also leaves a nice uh, dim light here for the nighttime if we, if we leave it on. You can see the windows all lit up uh, from the steeple all the way out to the highway and people in Spruce Grove are telling me that they can see them from there. It's just a nice feature. Uh, the alcoves were done and we've done a few alterations there and some of them have to be pointed out because you may not notice the sides of that alcove were a kind of a light pink color before with a sharp color down the, or sharp, sharp corner, sorry, down the corners. So I fixed that and I rounded the corners so everybody gets the same view. We also raised that cross 33 inches. The reason why we, why we did that is that cross was in place before we put the tabernacle in. And when we put the tabernacle in there, it made the cross look like it was too low and it looked like he was standing on top of the tabernacle. So we raised it up. Along the top of the rims here on, the, on our beams, this is the hull of a, of a ship and it's got the ribs that come down, it's got the bottom uh, rib and the steeple as we call it is actually the keel area of that ship. Now this bottom rib or the top rib to us as we're standing here is up there is 54 feet from the ground. So it's fair height to deal with. It's difficult to get machinery in here because of our floor structure because the floors can't uh, support heavy, heavy enough equipment to be able to reach up there. That's why the scaffolding had to get built. The alcoves that you'll see of St. Joseph's and St. Mary's were recolored and they were redecorated. Uh, there was some damages up in top of them and the lighting was bad so we changed all those around to, to try to improve it. I hope that everybody comes in and enjoys being in this church, being at home as, as much as I'm looking forward to coming back in here as a, as a mass family and uh, getting to look around and enjoy the place for the next 20 years. But I want you to be safe. I want you to uh, remember God. I want you to remember your church. And I want you to come back with laughter and joyful hearts to see everybody. May Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.